No, get him my little flip phone. I'll call you and you call me and that's it. And I ain't no telephone love. She's doing the podcast. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Welcome back, you guys. Another week with both sides with DJ and Honey. I feel like you was in, like trying to... Like, I was. <laughs> welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode I of Both I Sides <laughs> with DJ and Honey Podcast. <laughs> you try, you shot for it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, another week of your favorite couple. We're here to bring out everything from sports, music, um, entrepreneurship. <laughs> entrepreneurship. We, you we name bring it, it all, we, whatever. Yeah, whatever. We bring it all. Exactly. Couples issues. This is your favorite podcast again. Both sides with DJ and Honey. Another week. Another one. The week that starts Black History Month. Yes. Yes. The week we should be celebrating. The month we should be celebrating. The, Every day. The years we should be celebrating. Hello. Yes, but um, sometimes it's not much to celebrate <sighs> these days. Um, so we watched the show Empire. And by now, you guys know about what happened to Jesse Smollett, the um, sad, sad hate crime that was committed against him. Uh-huh. Um, explain it, babe. Well, the incident happened in Chicago. It was him and another person. I don't know. You, they filmed it in Chicago. And uh, sometime in the wee hours in the morning, or I don't know what may have you, but it so happened that either two or more assailants decided to say racial epithets to uh, Je- uh, I'm sorry, Jesse Smollett and that um, during that they actually tied a noose around his neck and they fought breach. Right. Uh, Horrible hate crime committed against um, Jesse Smollett. If guys don't know who Jesse Smollett is, he is Jamal on Jamal Lyon on the show Empire. Openly gay man. Yes. Black. So, um, it's definitely a hate crime against um, Definitely. And I hope they find the assailants. I really do. Racial and also somewhat homophobic, obviously. It, they said the person was wearing a MAGA hat. Like, yeah, like, how could you hate? How much hate can a person give? I don't know, but in this society, the hate is just always pointed in the wrong direction. You understand? It's always against us. Mm-hmm. Black people, or it's always against Somebody that's not white. That, that's some, that's what it's always against. And um, we're definitely de- um, living in a time of regression where everything is uh-huh. um, happening and going backwards. Uh-huh. Um, at a time where they're, at a time where we're still evolving too. Like we're evolving and regressing at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, now we're in 2019, a lot of things are legal accepted everything is you know your your eyes you have to live wide open now a lot of things that may not been not accepted back in the day is, mm-hmm. is, is, is going on now so that's the time that we live in everybody doesn't have to accept it but you have to respect it you understand so that's that mind I, I, I and you know to piggyback off of what you said I think now, especially, and not getting political, because I'm not getting into that, that whole scene there. I think, in my opinion, the president is a racist. He's openly said certain things that encourage more people of that habitat to say what they want. And it's leading on to, once again, against another race. And, you know, the, the hatred that's, that's becoming overlooked is becoming a natural norm now. And it's quite disturbing because it's now it's this this you don't need a rally you don't need a congregation of a certain race to do it <clears throat> anymore. People just out and just running up to you and doing certain yeah. things. I just don't understand it. And you know, not to put blame on anybody because it isn't the per the people who did it should be um, persecuted or thrown. The book should be thrown at them to the fullest max. I think that is just. I mean, it's sad because, of course, it, it happens to a celebrity, light is shed on it, but things like this happen every, every day. day. But the every fact day. that it did happen to a celebrity, hopefully is opening some eyes, you know what I'm saying? Um, look, people, blacks, 
didn't come from volcanoes and whites came from the, the heavens. You understand what I'm saying? We're all people of God. Like, we the all same. come from the same place. Like, understand that now. Like, we're, we're, we need to move past these hate crimes and, and doing things to, to people who don't deserve it because of a lifestyle that they've chose. Like, it's none of your business right. how they've chose to live their life. And, and, and let's come on, let's get past the color of people's skin by now. Uh, moving right along to brighten the mood. We don't like to keep the mood down here on both sides with DJ Honey, but we wanted to shed some light on that. Um, it is Black History Month. Hello. And, you know, even though, like we said before, it's the shortest of the month, but it should be year long. Every Celebrate year. it every it should. day. Everybody should know For about all that. It. What's the past leaders such as Martin Luther King was well, sacrificed, yeah. The usual suspects and sacrifice for us to do what we can now. It's not much, but they fought for the little bit that we have. So we have to appreciate the things that the leaders of the past and the leaders of the present are still fighting for, for to get exactly. us. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So this is a definitely a time where we all need to stick together, not to sound cliche. But it's the truth, and it's always going to be the truth because we're not going to be able to move forward unless we stick together. Huh. So we got into some shows, people. Yes, we did. Um, <laughs> some good ones. Good ones. Some good ones. Um, uh, what was her name? Miranda. I'm Amanda, Amanda Sales. Sales. I be knowing. I be knowing, right? Um, I always I get a oh man. Me and last names. I always get the first name right. Amanda Sales. There you go. Sorry. Oh. I be knowing. <laughs> Stand up. Her hour special on HBO last weekend. What did you think of it? Um, what did you think of it? I thought it was good. I thought it was great. I thought for a first stand up, it was great. I think along the way, there was parts where I didn't laugh, but I noticed the audience either it over some of the I say skits, some of the skits that she did either over, over like went over their head or there was like a pause on where they should have laughed. But you're like, okay, we're waiting for it, but. Overall, you know, she was animated. She was into the crowd. It was, it was a different approach because I'm so used to seeing her on um, Insecure. Right. So to see her in that light and to see her, I, I thought overall, oh, she was, she was, it was worth seeing. Um, I thought it was a, a, a okay hour special. It being her first, I give her a lot of credit. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, I do know that that takes a lot of courage. I can't get on stage, let alone read a poem. Like, you know what I'm saying? Read a poem that's not mine. So the work and the, like my babe said, the animation and all that stuff that went into her stand-up, I give her a lot of credit for. There were a lot of jokes, like you said, that went over a lot of head. She did drop a lot of knowledge. She did. Um, I thought, like, there were a lot of jokes that should have been home run hits. Mm. And it ended up, you know what I'm saying, like mm. singles or, her, right. you know, fouling out or something like that. So I, 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 I did see the direction and where she wanted to go. She, I think she may be actually ahead of her time with what comedy is going more into the acting, comedic, you know, direction. You know right. what I'm saying? Like Tiffany Haddish, like we talked about earlier in the season. So I think she may be ahead of her time or she might be the beginning of the, of the time. time. So I'm not going to. I said it was OK because I am used to a, a, a certain type of comedy. That's my preference. Nothing from her. I thought a lot of the jokes were. Female driven. Yeah, and, and, it was empowerment. Really, yeah, it was a, it was definitely sort of. power, powerful for the females. A lot of jokes. Fellas, I, I got the jokes because I grew up in a house full of women, so I, I get that. But, but there were jokes not a lot that, of people would have There were those. also jokes like things that literally some people could relate to because it's like everyday reality, like walking down the street. And no, you could, yeah. even though she was referring to women, I'm sure men has had like I like the joke about um, corporate America when she was talking about the, the CC. Why you got a CC Becky in it? And a delete, delete, delete. 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 I, like I like that. I like when she was talking about Caucasus. The Caucasus, yeah, there's some Caucasus And going on. she did bring it, and now we're speaking about Black History Month, and it was quite interesting that she brought it into her stand up. That's a great segue into Black History Month. Was Lift Every Voice and Sing, um, the, black the Black Anthem. And there's a lot of people who don't know that anthem. That's right. And it's quite sad. And if people knew that anthem, I bet you a lot more people would sing it now to this That's day. true. I do. I always it's an it. uplifting for every every race. It's not just, it is our our anthem. They used to make person. us sing it in our middle school for Black History Month. Yeah, it's, it's a very, 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 very powerful song. We also got into True Detective, oh. season three. We binged the first four it's episodes. Oh good. my gosh. Marshall, oh, Ali. Ali. <laughs> and 
Stefan Dorf. Stefan Dorf. Yeah. This season, they're the lead actors. Um, Mar- Marshall, Marshall Ali uh-huh. is doing great. Um, he just got the Supporting Actor Award for Green Book. So he, he's racking up. He, he, this show is really things. good. Yeah. Um, it's a great, believe it or not, segue also into Black History Month because it deals with a couple of generations within the season, the 80s, the 90s, and then now. Now. So um, you guys can see the transition, I believe, in how black and white people treated each other. And of course, it's True Detective, it's a cop show. So you guys get to see the normal detective type, CSI, 48 hour type show, whatever. But you also get to see how black cops were treated then, or the black people in general Uh were treated in the in the early 80s if you will still at that point so that's a great show i caught up on that come on sundays on hbo and if you haven't seen the other two seasons you guys should check it out yes um i wasn't too fond of the second season but the first season with the first mcconaughey and and woody harrison yeah that was good the second one was like yeah okay yes i think it was like interruption but this season this one is good I like it not just because it's martial the storyline is good the... not just because it's I mean, not because it's cotton <laughs> not because it's cotton like, martial let <laughs> I me mean, not take the easy route but no nah, it's a great no, show no it's a great show Sunday's on HBO we're not promoting it but we're encouraging it because it's a great show uh, we got a lot going on in this show people we're gonna keep this intro short oh, sweet. we got a special guest or two special guests yeah, yeah, yeah I can't wait for this go we ahead got, 31st Gang yes. in the building. Yes. 31st Dre and Polito. Polito, yes. They're here to let us know about everything they're working on the journey. Um, Polito's going to talk clothes. I want to hear designing clothes. I want to hear them, how the story they and how mesh they together. Group mesh and all of that. So we got them later on after sports. We're not going to do couples therapy this weekend, ladies and gentlemen, because we do have special guests. We're going to save that magic. Um, we do have our special announcement that we're willing to Yay. break this. I can't wait. <laughs> episode. Yeah. We're gonna drop it at the end. Yeah. Keep you guys involved in the episode and in tuned and 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 just wait and don't skip through the episode. Listen to the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> we got that coming on, so we're gonna go on a break. Yeah. We're gonna be right back. Yep. After these messages. Both sides podcast with DJ and Honey. Listening to both sides with DJ and Honey. Yeah, listen, everybody. Listening every week is a good show. You know, vibes right. Come call in with your questions. Listen to the vibes. Great vibes. Trust me. Once again, you already know. DJ and Honey. Both sides. Big up. Ladies and gentlemen, to both sides with DJ and Honey podcast. I gotta say it fast because she a thief. No, I'm not. She be trying to steal my intros and outros. I'm and trying. I'm, I'm trying, trying to be the new DJ Envy. <laughs> and you over here trying to steal my, my you know, my. Come on now. Jeez. Okay, day. Oh, man. All right. Welcome back to Both Sides with DJ and Honey Podcast, people. So, as usual, we are talking sports. Yes. Sports never leave our table, ladies and gentlemen. It's the foundation of our relationship. Yes. We are the couple that sit there and watch all the sporting events. Honey may can follow and keep up the way I can, as you guys may have noticed on the podcast. And that's nothing against her, but for her female, she know her stuff. So, that's what the foundation is set on when I first met her. Um... We decided, she said, she asked me if I wanted to play catch one day. Mm-hmm. And um, I like catch, but you got a football. So she had a football in the closet. She got a football, real football, leather and all of that. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, well, okay. So we go outside. This is in Jersey City. And we're outside on the block. And then this girl takes like a, a, a five-step drop, drop, drop step, fly, a five-step drop step, and, and throws like a 40-yard pass off her back foot on the run. 
with like five defenders on her and just launches it and it just blew me away. So that is why we always talk sports because it's definitely the foundation of our love. So last week, ladies and gentlemen, as AD, you all know, or this week, AD no, AD. announced that he wants out of New Orleans. Just he wants out. Bye bye. He wants to go. Now everybody know that he's um, Rich Paul's his manager. Yeah. Who is um, I mean his agent? Forgive me. Um, and that's LeBron's boy, Clutch Sports, all of that. That's when all this so, started. Yeah. Everybody knew it was happening. It was yeah. gonna happen. So we're not gonna talk about it like a surprise. So what me and my babe decided to do was. Think about some places where Anthony Davis will go besides... Well, she's going to... Well, I guess... Yeah. You got usual suspects, and then we're going to do some out-the-box kind of suspects and throw out some names and we should get traded, blah, okay. blah, blah. So go ahead. After you... Or would you want me to go first? You go first. All right. So what I got was <laughs> the Knicks, because I'm a Knicks fan. So I was thinking about sending poor Zingas, Um and I was kind of torn between Kevin Knox and Tim Hardaway Jr. in a pick. Like a pick is always going to be on the thing. Like Porzingis, see, it's hard because he's broke down. Now he's injury prone. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like he's not injury prone. He just got injured once and it was a bad injury. Tim Hardaway is a good pickup. And that pick right there could be Zion. It could be Zion. It could be the Knicks are on the running for the last three or you could just get a top three pick, you know, either way. But either way, the Knicks is going to get a top three pick this year. I still say they need an overhaul, so it yeah. doesn't So that was my <laughs> dream. I don't want to give away Kevin Knox. So I said Tim Hardaway, Porzingis, and possible good, pick. Those are good trades. After you, next. Okay. Mine you would go, be the Lakers. You'll go, we'll go back and forth. Okay. I'm only really at one, so I'm just going to say it off the back, okay. of course. I was, in my mind, would have said King James. But, of course, that's impossible. Yeah. I would say... Mm. Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball. Off the back. Well, Cate- everybody know he's packaged. He got to go. Catavius. Codwell Pope. Him. Yeah. And <laughs> why you that? Well, also, he has to go because he has that $12 million deal. So he's a money, um, you know what I'm saying, like trade-off. Right. trade-off with money. So we even on. Yeah. And uh, Josh Hart. Josh Hart. See, mm-hmm. that makes it spicy because the Lakers don't want to give up Josh Hart. But if they don't, then Kyle Kuzma got to be in that deal. I know. They I don't, also got Brandon, they in, Brandon Ingram. Um, and he just started. I mean, they all they all but young. It, I'm, but that's you know Kyle Kuzma is their, their base right now. Yeah. Keys. And 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 everybody, what I think is New Orleans going to say no to the Lakers unless Kyle Kuzma's in the deal. Give it up. They're going to want Kyle Kuzma, Lonzo, and Brandon Ingram. Those three. They all know that. No so no they're not going to get that deal. Okay, so I did the 76ers next. That's interesting. Yes, because they have Jimmy Butler. They have Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. Uh-huh. And a bunch of, you know, guys. Markel Fultz, the broken player. Uh-huh. He's there. Um, they also get a lottery pick. And then you get to pick... If you want to, all right. So this is this is how I'm thinking it. You get to you could you could ship Jimmy Butler. You could do a sign and trade. You can ship Jimmy Butler, Markel Fultz, and a pick. Or you could ship Ben Simmons, Markel Fultz, and a pick. But nobody's gonna I don't ship, ship Ben, ben Simmons, Simmons That's because not gonna happen. he's the new LeBron. Yeah, so it'll be too much of a change. In I that. don't know. Joel Embiid is off the table. He course. can't go. He of is course. he is the Sixers right now. So he can't go. So um either of those guys. You got another team? No. That's it? Yeah. So yeah. Because okay. my Lakers other team would have been the whole the of the Knicks, but you already mm. <laughs> So Okay, yeah. You think he's gonna get dealt before the trade deadline no. this year? No? So no. you think it's gonna be a in the summer thing? Mm-hmm. What they gotta I weigh think, this one out. What I think deplenishes his trade as like his trade value is the fact that he if he says I will not sign with another team but LA Mm -hmm. then whatever team he gets traded to they only got him on like a two year rental so they have to consider the fact that 
Well, any team that takes him got to consider, like, we're giving away our assets for just him for a year or two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For a year. So, they got or a year and a half at that. So, if he says, look, I just wanted to go to the Lakers, they're going to have to trade him to the Lakers or they're going to have to give away things they don't want to give away to just get Anthony Davis for a year and a half or a year. A year. I'm not saying nobody should be that bold and say, oh, I want to be traded. I think when he got involved with the... Clutch LeBron, Clutch Sports. Yeah. Okay. Team. He became bold. Er. He's been bold, like, but now he's feel like, um, you How know. do you feel about the athletes, like, picking where they want to go? Like, they feel like the NBA, the the players are locked into their first team for at least the first seven Wasn't years because of money. Wasn't something that was up with the, when LeBron did the shop? He did bring up something. Was it him or somebody in his... In well, they're forced to, like, they kind of, like, think about it. You play your first three or four years on the team... And you want that big, that first big contract. And the only place you get that first big contract from is the team, the first team. So it makes it difficult for players to say they want to stay somewhere. They 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 want to stay for the money at the time, but once they get the money, of course they're not happy they want to go. So AD wants out. And he got fifty k. Fifty k penalty. Yeah. Just for staying. Mm-hmm. So, but I'm so, pretty sure LeBron them got the pocket. Well, I'm for that. sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They probably knew the time the time oh, was coming. King. The mm-hmm. king. Mm-hmm. They said LeBron orchestrated it all. Like a Don King. Yeah, mm-hmm. you sure, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. We got um, <laughs> into the Pro what? Bowl last weekend. Oh, I liked it. It wasn't as exciting, but it was okay. I think you just like football. You like contact? I do, yeah. I like... I, I w- she likes contact. <laughs> I plead the fifth. She likes. Contact. Um, <laughs> I think the Pro Bowl sucks. Like, come on, there's no competitiveness. It's at first you know, it was raining. It was. I mean, this year definitely sports. sucked. All right, but it was no good. I mean, these guys don't want to get hurt. I understand. So I, it, I have more fun watching the Skills Challenge. Why can't they get hurt? Hello, you already out. You're not going to the championship. No offense yeah, you, to you anybody. They, can't get, they got an obligation to their team. I know, but you think they would put them in harm's way? It's funny games. You get to see the softer side of them. I mean, I like the fact that they had like offensive players playing defense yeah. and vice versa this year. You got that's dodgeball. It. You got the to see the kids like, well, play well, that's tag, the, football. The, the the dodgeball and stuff is the skills challenge part that I like. I like that. That was on Thursday. You know who was on point, though? The yeah. Quarterback when he did Russell the... Wilson. What? He came back with a vengeance. What? He scored like five what? points on the target. Baby. Target Baby. last year. Um. Can I, can I, on, the, on the target thing last year, he scored like five points. Okay. Okay. I just got excited. All right. It was nice to see him in the still form. Yo, how much quarterbacks you like, yo? Doesn't matter. It's not my team quarterback, but it's okay. You like all the quarterbacks with the no. good hair? No, uh-uh. No, no, no. I do you not. You like all the quarterbacks with the good hair? What you trying to say? That's what you like. All the that quarterbacks with the good hair. That is not true. Whatever. Like Super Bowl weekend, <laughs> everybody. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Tom Brady versus Jared Goff. Patriots versus the Rams. LA, who you got? Rams. Rams. What's your score? 37-27 Rams. 37-27. You got the Rams winning by one. I got... Oh, I what? want the... By 10, yeah. sorry. Um, I'm, I'm used to counting the long blocks. With <laughs> right. You know, like, each long block mm-hmm. is 10, so I know one is 10. Sorry. Um, now you no know homework today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got, I wrote down my score, and I'm kind of, I really, really want the Rams to win, but I'm going to pick the Patriots. Drastic. 20 to 24. Oh, okay. So we all be reasonable. Um, I really want the Rams to win, though. I'm not rooting for the Patriots, but I'm being realistic. I think that team might be a year away. Just a bit. Ty Gurley's a little hobbled. They have questions about him. Um, they didn't deserve to, to, to... Let me take that back. They're in the Super Bowl, but they, they got to the Super Bowl off a bogus call. So I don't know if it's all going to work for them. I don't know how their confidence may be going into it. So I'm picking the page. If I have to pick, put money in on the Patriots, 28-24. Even regardless of the bogus call, okay. We all know there's always something that happens when it comes to playoffs of any sport. But see, time out. You're saying, I know what you're about to say. And you're saying that now because we're here. But last week, when the Saints went down... We was all calling it bogus. Right, but we but can't think about... Here. Right, exactly. We can't think about the last okay. week because it doesn't count. It's not... It's elimination. Regardless of how it happened, they got to eliminate. So from that, yeah, you may say typically, like, oh, okay, since they got away with that... Sorry. Since they got away with that, 
you think they wouldn't show or dig dig deeper to make sure that that they cross t- their eyes right. and dot their T's to make right. sure they win this right. one. Right. All right. So we both want the Rams to win. Mm-hmm. My money's on the Patriots. Mm. I play some boxes. How many of y'all play Super Bowl pools? I get into that every year for like the last six, in. seven years. You don't get offers into it? No. No? Why mm-hmm. you should start one? You should do it. Not in that office. Orchestrate that. Not in that office. You can orchestrate Trust that. Trust me, not in that office. Why not? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We can't solicitate nothing. Can't do nothing. Really? None of that. Mm-mm. Oh, they don't let you? Nope. Oh, okay, well. Um, we do boxes at my place of work. Um, I played three boxes this year. What numbers you pick? Did they give you the numbers? Oh, I got the numbers. Yeah, yeah got, like, it's important. Like, do you pick even or odd numbers? Which, no, I ain't draw no. What are you talking about? Well, I, I picked even. 23. I picked 6 and 18. I okay. couldn't pick your birthday because you and DJ birthday on the same, same line. line. Oh. So, and then I couldn't pick 18 because I think 18 is also on the same line with DJ. Oh, Maybe. really? Or the same line was, 18 was gone. I don't know. But I got some good numbers. I think I got a zero, four, eight, oh, yeah. seven, and um, seven. Seven, see, seven times. I'm gonna be with a seven. So hopefully, if you guys don't know how the game go, um, put a bunch of numbers in the hat. Everybody buys a bunch of boxes. I think a hundred boxes, right? Ninety nine boxes. Ninety boxes. Yeah. Um, everybody has a box. Um, numbers zero through nine are mixed into a hat, and the away team is on the top. The home team is on the, you know, the column going uh, the row going down. And all the boxes have different names in it. And then the numbers from zero to nine are mixed up accordingly, left in. And you pick them, you pick yeah. according to the numbers. So the last digit of the score of each quarter decides who's the winner. Right. So if you have a three or a zero, for, if you have a three for the away team and a zero for the home team, and the score is three away team, zero home team. You just won a quarter or the game. Or if it's 23, 20, or you, know, you got yeah, some people I can sit here and explain that, but yeah. I can draw it better than I can tell it. Tell it yeah. Yeah, but, but people should get the gist of it. I've never won. So hopefully this year, people, yeah. you'll know if I won. You'll know. <laughs> what? It's like a lot of... I have to. Yeah. I need that. I need that. <laughs> I need that. We'll keep DJ needs some new shoes. Hello. Mm. No. Mama needs some new shoes. That is true. Yes. So, um, Super Bowl weekend, everybody. We hope you guys enjoy it. Be yeah. safe. A lot of people, you know, don't watch the game. They just like the festivities. The food, the buffalo wings. So expensive. The salsa and dip, um, chips and dip. And, um, and it's in, a, it, it, wait, it's it's in Atlanta. Atlanta. In Atlanta this year. So, you know, all the hot rappers and all that going to be out there. Who's performing? Outcast. I believe. Uh, Big Boy. Sorry. And, uh, and um... Ad- his name Adam? No. Oh, oh, that sucks. Adam? No. He's from The Voice. I don't know. The Maroon Five. I just oh, know his Adam first name. I was about to oh, say his name. Wow. I was like, don't say it's funny. I didn't even know. It's Maroon Five. Know. Yeah. Adam, they okay. they actually are the feature and big uh, big boy and um, what you call it is, I mean he's the headline and they they added into it. Okay. Yeah. You gotta check that out. Yeah. And um, mm-hmm. Cardi B is supposed to drop the new Pepsi. Commercial. Commercial. Oh, man. I love, com- I love some more commercial. I think That's last the year most, was, I think It's last so year much fun. Yeah. I get excited with those. Some of them could be a little dry, but they really have like, oh, I can't wait for it. I love when Apple comes out with one. I love, I don't, I don't really care for the Pepsi commercials, actually. I don't. I, I think Slow down so they can understand what you're saying. I'm sorry. It's like I have a sugar rush, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you get excited. What I you did. Said, I did. Like it. somebody said, you said Pepsi and just like it hit you. Like it just, yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I just love NFL commercials during nah, the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl commercials it's, it, definitely. It's cool. I like them. Um, so we do have special guests this show. We're not gonna hold them any longer. No, no, They'll no. be up right next. Yes, yes, I'm yes. gonna um, play a clip of their music during the break. Um, 31st game. We got 31st Dre and Paulito in the building here to talk about music and designing clothes with y'all. Um, you guys stay tuned. They'll be on next. We won't be having couples therapy. You guys also stay tuned. We do got a big announcement at the end of the show. Yay. So 31st game when we get back. This is Both Sides with DJ Honey Podcast. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> you can take it when you can't. 
Jay, you got the bottle. Trap out, jump, jump. I turn on the sun. Trap out, jump. I turn on the sun. Trap out, jump. I turn on the sun. Trap out, jump. I turn on the sun. I'm keeping it sunny. I'm taking it out. Just stay in cover. Sit down. Sit. Sit. No. Welcome back to Both Sides, ladies and gentlemen. We got our special guest in the building today at the Both Sides studio. Yes, we do. Yes, Thanks for we coming. Do. Yes, sir. We no got problems. a couple of members of the 31st gang in the building. Hey. <laughs> Everybody let, let everybody know who y'all are. First. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, um 31st Dre, for me rapping 31st gang. I'm an artist, I rap, you know what I mean? That's about it. Alright, alright. It's your favorite designer, man. <laughs> B to the A Bad Lord Paul. Alright, all right. you guys, thank y'all for coming. So Y'all hit us up, we hit y'all up, we went back and forth. We want to first and foremost just thank y'all for definitely, definitely. supporting the podcast. You know that. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Thank y'all for coming through, making yeah. time. Y'all got music that's out, y'all got videos that's out, everything y'all trying to push. You got the clothing line and everything that's going out. You got it on right now. Yeah, yeah Lord, right? You know, nice. Yes. Nice. Already looking good. So, you, you guys, so, so what I want to know first and foremost is. What goes into the process of creating all of this? Cause y'all got clothes, y'all got music, y'all got videos, and it's a group. It's a bunch of y'all, bunch of ideas. What goes into the creative process and just dropping what y'all drop? Honestly, um, we just love creating. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We love creating. We love doing well. So um, we all come together. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have good ideas, and we just we put it together and we make it work. Okay. So how many of you guys are it, and when did y'all start? 31st game. Yeah, well, we started 31st game from kids, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, like, you know, let's get the whole game clear, you know what I'm saying? Sorry for cursing, but let's get it clear. Like, you know, like, it's not even like a gang in a bad way. You know, it's more of a family, but we use gang. When we was younger, we was, you know, we was dumb, whatever. We used to say gang was like an acronym for girls in North Ganja, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's okay. Right. And that's okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we, you know, we, like, we used to love Not girls. Not a bad gang. Not a bad gang at all. And we used to, you know, we used to, you know, do what it do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Let's keep it like that. But for the most part, you know, it all started off as family. We all know each other from a long family way, you know what I'm saying? It's never just like a boy that I met, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's always, somebody's always related in, in some type of way, so. Shout out your brothers. Shout out so my brothers, you know, everybody <laughs> know. Definitely. Well, consists of 31st game. Definitely. Everybody know, shout them well, Overall, 31st is a, it's a lot, you know what I'm saying? It's 31st Spugs, 31st J, 31st Gravy, 31st Bells, 31st Loso, 31st Alden, yeah. um, 31st Connie, you know, yeah. Jamal, 31st Jamal, yeah. 30, that's Blacks, 31st right. Tav. I ain't trying to miss nobody. 31st, red man. 31st yeah. belly. Yeah. You know, I'm not trying to miss nobody, but you know, for the most part, we all know each other from for years. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've been chilling since. So, y'all brothers making music. So, when did y'all decide, all right, let's do this music thing and let's see if we can eat off of this or so, so, so much create and, and get noticed off our work? Well, we've been, you know, freestyling for a really long time since, right, yeah. you know, young boys or whatever, but. It's like middle school. Yeah, probably yeah, probably even before that, honestly, yeah. but we never took it serious, you know? Okay. And then, you know, as time move on, everything changed, you know? You see a lot of people making money off of it. You see a lot of people, you know, and it just became a passion after a while, you know? We always doing it to try to get better, and now it's just time to, you know? So what, what, made you do, what made you start designing? What made you, like, yo, let me put my pen to this pad and let me start projecting it into clothing? Oh, all right, well... Hey, right, first of all, there's one more person who I do the clothing line with. It's my boy, Ty Sean. He's from Brooklyn. Shout out. Uh, yeah, Brooklyn. shout out to him, Red Hook. Mm-hmm. Hey! Right, you feel me? I'm Brooklyn, bro, right there. <laughs> yeah, 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 shout out to Red Hook. All the Red Hooks. Right there, but, um, yeah, like, me and him started, we met each other in high school, so in ninth grade, we people know us from getting fly. Like, sorry for Chris. Right? <laughs> it's a cool uh, school. People, people know us for getting fly, so, you know, we was like, we was like, and I think in our class together or something like that. And we, 
we was, we was gonna come out with a girls line like lingerie because we know women like shopping more. Yeah, yeah more, more than men. Too, <laughs> exactly, you know I mean? exactly. But we didn't really get on the idea. Long story short, we didn't get on the idea as like as time progressed. So we, we met up in college, and then he bought me my first sketchbook. And he was like, "Yo, bro, you know what's that draw. first one? Like, this is our time. Like, we need to come up with something." Right. So after that, I just started making logos and stuff in my book right. and stuff like that. So and then. Uh, I ended up finishing school and I needed something to come out in time. Like I needed like a like a logo to stand out because I was ready to put it out there. It took me like like two years to make my logo. Make same time. Yeah, like, so man, it was a killer. Like and then, then we here today. Now we doing fashion shows and pop up shops. So nice. like, we kept on grinding. That's all it boils down to. Grinding, get involved into what you are right now. Yeah, yeah and out and. The, and hanging out with them, like I used, I'm from Brooklyn, so I used to come up there in the Bronx. On so the I get from all the world, so how to connect from the Bronx in Brooklyn? You used to live in the Bronx, or and then my pops live in the Bronx. Oh, hey. My pops used to hang out on Dirty First on the block. <laughs> <laughs> the nice. Bronx and Brooklyn never really connect. Yeah, so yeah, it does it. <laughs> when people see us together. They like you. She's from Brooklyn. You from the Bronx? Like, how how did you come yeah, to the Bronx? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. trip and everybody think about it. So I, right, that's cool. Yeah, so I used to come there on weekends, and, and that was the block, and I met um, Dre. I okay. met Dre probably like when I was like in middle school. Yeah. Around right. there, like he was like 12 or 13. Huh? Yeah. And from there, he just knew me from getting fly and having like the hottest. Yeah. And like, and then we just came together, they was doing music. I found out they was doing music. I mean, I just connected yeah. and kept it going. So, so what keep y'all going now? Like, like, like is, is there anything, like there's a lot of competition out there as far as like, YouTube, Instagram, everybody doing the same thing. What's gonna keep? What keeps y'all going? And like, yo, this is why we gotta make it. This is why stuff is different. This is why stuff stand out. This is why we gotta push it. Well, it's I feel like music and then clothing as well. I feel like it's really like the progress and the growth. Like every time we do something, we see how like how much better we got at it. So it's like if we keep going, we just gonna get better and better. So right. that's all it is, you know. And then, all right. Like as far as my line, like keep yeah, pushing yeah. and stuff like that. Well, I, don't know, I be feeling like I'm different a lot with certain things. I feel like, like when it comes down to dressing and like getting fly sneakers, mm-hmm. I'm a sneakerhead. Like yeah. all those things come in one. My talent and know how to, knowing how to draw. Like I see, I see clothes different, colors yeah, different. Yeah, color block and all that. Like, getting fly is like what I did. I grew up watching drug dealers getting fly. Right. Like, like rappers <laughs> took off of drug dealers that, that's, 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 for sure. For sure. Like, like, so you know, like like everything started in our community. As much as style, everything from okay. Harlem to to now. Like yeah, sure. so the hood influenced a lot from the hood. So who influenced y'all? Who made you wanna rap? Who made me wanna rap? Yeah, like, like like who did you listen to coming up? Damn, I listen to a lot of people like Tupac, right. Jay Z, you know. Who you listening to now? Right now, my and who, my who, who you listening to as far as independent rappers and stuff like that? Not even no big label. <coughs> um, independent rappers. Uh, I just listen to us. You know, like, if it's okay. independent rappers, then that's us. I, like, I watch us. Twenty four seven. I'm on, on the train, whatever it is, going to work, whatever it is. I'm bumping my music right. nine times out of ten. If not, it's my two favorites probably right now. Probably J Cole and Meek. Okay. Yeah. So you guys are independent artists and, you know, when it comes to like more than one person inside their own, you know, trying to become whoever they're trying to become, how do you guys collaborate so that there's a final decision or, because there's a lot of emotion going behind yeah. and everybody has their own views on what they want. How do you guys come at the final decision making of how do you guys promote your stuff? How do you guys become with the decision, your videos, the music and so forth? Um... You know, sometimes when you create something like real good, you know it. You know what I mean? Like, you could do something so much times and you know it don't feel right, but then it'll be that one time you do it and it's like, yeah, it's the time to do it. So, honestly, it's not really even a thought process behind it. You know, if we make five good songs, you know, nine times out of ten, it's a lot of us. So, you know, it may be like a ratio of uh, like eight to three. So, it's like, yeah, we're going to do that. Okay. It may be a ratio to like ten no's in one year. So, we ain't going to do it. It made no sense, you know, but. At the end of the day, we still want to be fair. Some certain times, I like stuff that somebody somebody else may not like, so we just trying to be fair and make everybody get a, a shot at what they like to do. Right. So, okay, you from Brooklyn? You still living in Brooklyn now? Nah, I live uptown. You live uptown. So, how how does it go as far as like pushing your clothing? Where do you look? How do you go about it? Like, where do 
love like, like, yeah, like, how do you shop it, basically? Oh, okay. Is it, like, on Instagram? You go online? You got your website? Oh, yeah, I got the Instagram right now. You could come, you could, um, DM me right, right now. Right, the, the, yeah, like, you just, you just get me on Instagram, Law NYC, to DM and stuff. Um, the website is coming out in March for our spring collection. Okay. For spring and summer collection, so that's when we're going to drop the, the website officially. All right, want you to check it out. So most likely it's gonna be VailLawNYC.com. And we just working on that. We try to make everything perfect. Like everything we do is like surgery. We take our time. We don't try to rush anything. As far as clothes, like we try to be as different as possible. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, so you know right. we try to push the culture. Like as far as like clothes and and style and music together. That's why I'm working with them at at the same time. You know, so. I want people to see our clothes and show that show that this is a lifestyle. This is 31st lifestyle. This is how we this is how we do it over here on this side. I feel like we're a lot different. People don't realize how much music, clothes, oh, all that stuff goes. Yeah, it's yeah. 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 like, yeah. like, yeah. yeah. like, yeah. a big influence yeah. culture. Kids watch music videos. They want to see who rapping, who singing, got the hottest gear, mm-hmm. all that stuff. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So that's like big that y'all elaborating or collaborating yeah. the, the clothing line with the music. So, so honestly, what do you do it for? Who do you do it for? Because a lot of people do it for creativity. A lot of people rap to just get out of a situation. A lot of people rap for their family to make it better. Who do you mm-hmm. rap for? Oh, personally, I rap. I rap for myself. You know, right. to be honest, like you know, I don't think nobody loves my music more than I love it. Yeah. So that's that's, that's, it. What I mean, it is. No, that's that's the most confidence you can come out with. Yeah, you feel me? sure. And you, as far as like like who are you doing it for, like. Um, I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot of stuff on the line, man. I'm trying to change my generation, my family tree. That's the reason why I do it. I'm trying to do something like when I have kids, they got something to lean on. They have something. This is like a legacy thing I'm trying to start right here. You feel me? I'm just trying to cut the whole tradition of 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 my parents coming from Jamaica and working and stuff like that. And now relying on your creativity to create something and be rich off of it. And open more opportunities for other people. Mm-hmm. So, like, what I'm doing with this fair law thing is more than a clothing line. It's gonna be a company. Something that's gonna be big. That my kids to take over. My little brother. Something like I'm trying to open up doors for my whole family, so we don't have to work no more nine to five. Right. Like, you know, it's, I'm trying to end that. Right. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard. But everybody, you know. You gotta do it one way or another, whether it's with your creativity, whether it's working a nine to five, whether it's doing both. Yeah. We do both, so I mean. That is hard because you guys are independent black men doing yeah. it yeah. against the grain of other people's hair say. So, you know, yeah. it's it's a great thing to hear, you know. Yeah, even Especially y'all doing with fashion. Yeah. yeah, and even with y'all doing your podcast, this is something that y'all created. This is something, this is one of y'all dreams y'all trying to fulfill. Okay. Too. Let everybody see exactly what you got on. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this, is, this, is, <laughs> this is the veil or vest right here. Okay. Like, this I did with Con Hut. Like, I actually called up Con Hut. Oh, wow. Okay, that's nice. Just, like, put I stay saying I need a vest. Yeah. Every time I go by, like, I need a vest. I need a right. vest. I can no, never no, get, man. I bought one vest and it just can't be. It's never the right vest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and um, sure. this is the hoodie. This is the veil or hoodie. With the, with the logo on the top. I got more stuff over there. Okay, go ahead, man. Go ahead. And you got upcoming anything upcoming going on with um, the upcoming? I, I, I always got some upcoming. Like, excuse me, y'all. We just gonna grab some more stuff. Right. Go, ahead, go, ahead. go ahead. No, we okay. keep it going. We keep it going. Okay, cool. So, um. Yeah, so we about to drop a video called Trap House Jumping, you know. Mm. That's going to drop by the 31st of January. It could be before that. could be, you know, as soon as I walk out of here. You know. Everybody know where you can find it. Oh, it's going to be on YouTube. You feel me? You could check it out on YouTube or whatever, you know. Anything else, Facebook or whatever, whatever oh, out it is. Go ahead, show me about it. Oh, yeah, this right here is the, you know, um, very little hoodie for my fall season. Right here, got the guy has the best humor. Uh, I like that. Yeah, this joint right here. Actually, my friend, the one who I do the, the clothing line with, he came up with that that slogan right there. Guy has the best humor. I came with the design on it. And I got the long sleeve, the orange, orange joint with the law on one arm and the 
I'm saying like bright colors. Everybody need bright colors. Yeah, like, everybody need bright colors. It comes in another colorway too, the yellow and black. I don't okay. And then, then I got the veil little wave sweater. How much time go into making this stuff? Like, you coming with the design? Yeah. You gotta print it. You gotta you know design it, get it stitched up. How long it take it to to, to exactly make like a then, fresh like, design? Yo, it'd be. Take us to even come up with the idea, take us months like a month at least. Wow. Because we go through a like creative process, like we just run ideas and we gotta pick which one we think should be this season. Right. Right? Like, so we would have something in the safe that we like the idea, but we didn't use that for this for this season. We're gonna hold back on that one, you know? okay. And like, like, as far as like. Like it takes it takes a while. Even the clothes, like it'd be times I go and get these done, get them printed, screen printed, and stuff yeah, like that. Stuff for the ladies. Yeah. Okay. This this year is gonna be more mostly focused on ladies okay. and kids, mm-hmm. kids wear. Okay. Like, trying to get into that. Okay. You know, I'm be trying to like, but with the ladies now, we trying to break a barrier with that too. Like we see everybody doing the tights, and so we just trying to figure out a way where it can stand out more. Mm. That ladies will be more yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, yeah. You gotta, you gotta, gotta come up with something you, gotta, we can, yeah. you know? Got some stick, nice stick, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's <laughs> nice and something that yeah. stand out. Yeah, so. And something like, you know what I hate about tights on girls? Like, there's the nice, firm, tight and, like, you know what I'm saying? Tights that hold it. Mm-hmm. And then there's them loose, cotton ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so the nice tight, you gotta get them some firm, find that, yeah, some good material, good or something, material yeah. or some tights. Dre, you gonna you gonna you gonna freestyle for us? What's up? You got some for us? Oh, you, all right, yeah, cool. Yeah, you got, yeah, my fault is just you. Know, you nah, we good. We throw you right yeah, into now nah, because he, I just gave you know what I mean. So I was like, you know what I mean. I want to take too okay. much from. Alright. Take your time. It's cool. Um, what we doing? Like you trying to um, you putting a beat? We just nah, go ahead, keep it fresh. Yeah. All right, oh, um, all right, cool. I was like, um, what is the love? When you was just feeding the hate, you used to want like some grapes. They said that time is fake. I need some more time in the day. I gotta go get it. She tried to discredit like everything that I say or everything that I did. I showed you a new life. Now you trying to criticize the way that I live. Like I wasn't there for your kids. I doubt you gonna ride through my bed. But I ain't gonna point fingers cause it's my fault. DM message and side talk. All them shoes that I bought made you walk on me like a sidewalk. But it's love though. Ah, uh, off the top. I was like, um, we on the ride to the top. Remember when niggas was riding on block? I had the Luga, I had the Ruga, I had the nine on the Glock. Hop in the Uber, hit up my jewel, I put the glitz on the watch. Wet like a school, but now she a tutor, I bet I hit on the dock. Crack a nigga head like Pepsi, kick the fifth back like Lionel Messi. Can't walk with the strap too hefty, but I pop the trunk on that Lexi. Put the beam in the jag in reverse, put a man in the bag in the hearse. Got a bag and I ran with it first. Ha <laughs> <You know what laughs> Slangin' with dealers, little I know I was hanging with killers. Banana gorillas, all these apes on the man in the villa. I keep the pistol, I always had issues, I grew up around with thug niggas. <laughs> Yo, Hold up, man. Wait, 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 you got more? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you got more, because you can take us out. I, I thought that's crazy. That's crazy. Because <laughs> you, you know, always artists. You know, you artists. call me off guard. No, 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 I know, no, I wanted to. We're going to do it. We're not going to do it. I wanted to. I'm going to give you two more minutes. I'm going to give you two more minutes. And then you're going to take us out to the commercial when I'm done in the interview. I wanted to put you on the spot. You are my brother, so everybody should know that. That's my brother, and I wanted to put a little pressure on the thing. Thank you. Thank you. Now, that was good. That was good. So I'm over here, like, Goosebumps, I'm like, yo, I'm proud, that's nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, but thank you guys definitely for coming through, bringing over some pieces, for bringing sure, over. For sure, for sure. Uh, 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 let everybody know where they could where they could find y'all. And if there's any upcoming events yeah. or, you know. Alright, definitely. so definitely, we're going to drop, we're going to drop, um, we're dropping two mixtapes. We're dropping um, Block Tape, Block Tape 2. Okay. We dropped Block Tape 1 last, um, last year. Was it last year? 2017. 2017. We dropped it 2017. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 so you know we um we had definitely have some fire on there. We still gonna do some music videos for off of that tape too. And um so Block Vibes is coming out say around June this year. And we're gonna try I'm um, no Block Tape coming out around, around June, Block Vibes coming out around March, within like two two months from now. So that's that's only up- upcoming things we got. We got a video that may drop tonight, like what I said earlier. Oh, okay. Or may drop in a day or two. You know, whatever time, whatever time, whenever time is right. And the YouTube we got channel. The YouTube What's channels, up? um, 31st Gang TV. Yeah, 31st, 31st Music Gang TV. IG. Instagram is um 31st Gang. Mm-hmm. Instagram, you know, we all got individual Instagram, 31st Dre, 31st Loso. Uh-huh. And oh yeah, we also got a video dropping on Valentine's Day called Bang For You. You 
You feel okay. me? That video's gonna be fire. Pretty short so. for the ladies. Definitely. Yeah. That's why I'm dropping <laughs> on Valentine's Day. You gotta have one alone. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and as of right now, yeah, we just trying to stay focused and just keep working, you know? Nice. That's what we got right, nice. upcoming. And you got the spring. Yeah, spring collection coming out. Spring collection coming out in March. You got, you got some drip for y'all, man. Yeah. Come on, nice. Well, it's been going really out. hard, really yeah, hard. So, like, a lot of pieces too. Good. Even our videos, everything is real low no matter what we do. Yeah, so, you know, nice. so we got 31st Dre and Polito. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Dre is going to take us out. You going to take us out? You got another <laughs> you <a> couple of <laughs> guys. Take, take, take us out. Take us out. Oh, yeah. You got you enough, good? man. You got enough. You got enough. We appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. 31st game, both sides with DJ Honey Podcast. We'll be back right after these messages. Hey. Okay. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Both sides with DJ and Honey Podcast. First and foremost, thanks to 31st Gang, 31st Dre, and Paulito for coming through and blessing the show, bringing some 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 nice threads and all of that through, and giving insight on their their journey, collaboration, right. their journey, how they all collaborate as a whole. You know, showing that togetherness we yeah. like to see in our young equals. Everybody's equal. Youths yeah. nowadays, and the music is great. And the music is trap house jumping. Hey, hey. I like that. Hey, I've been hey. listening to it for the last couple of days. I hope you guys enjoyed Thirty First Dre and Paulito. Thanks again, you guys, for stopping by to the show. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. So we do continue to encourage anybody come on the show. You got any music? Anything you do? Any arts? Any shows? Any um, business that you have that you want to promote? Any books? Any anything you got? Just come hit us on. up. We're welcoming anybody to come on. Both sides with DJ Honey. That's right. I want to just be clear, not anybody, but we are welcoming <laughs> people we who have door. a great message and a great journey yeah. behind what they're doing as mm-hmm. well. Um, although Thirty First Gang, you guys may think like, well, they're rappers and stuff. How may be good? We like young entrepreneurs that are doing their thing and to see like a bunch of young black brothers come together, mm-hmm. a bunch of them, and they're doing clothes, they're doing music, and you they all working together on different parts to, to create this art in their crew. Like, it, it's amazing to me. Like, no, you know, I'm not gonna say and say no matter how you do it, as long as you do it, but they're doing it. So congratulations to them, you know. And I'm, for, for all of them to be certain individuals, entrepreneur individuals, they all come come together as a unit, right? As one, and that, and that's the way, you know. It's it's kind of weird because saying that just brought it back, like as it's now society as a whole, what we should be doing yes, as a whole. Yes, exactly. That's right. It is black it history. It is black history. That whole Jesse Smollett thing was trash. Yeah. What happened? So we are encouraging the togetherness. That's what both sides are about anyway, the positivity that we try to spread. That's right. Not just with couples, but with, with, with yeah. everybody. Yeah, Blacks, yeah. minorities, whites, anybody. Mm-hmm. You know, we're all living in this day and age where it's hate, 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 but we need to start showing the love. Right. You understand what I'm right. saying? Because leadership is going downhill. <laughs> our, our, you know, the regression is real. So we're going to continue to spread that message weekly. It's not, you know... We're not trying to be this corny couple that come on and, ooh, positivity. No. No. But it's the <laughs> true thing. We practice it in our own relationship. That's right. So That's right. We pray. We we do things together. We we try to spread that message in, in my home. So it's 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 definitely what we want to spread to the world. And not just because something happened to a celebrity and we're sitting here talking about celebrity. You know, and I'm it's sure, real. I'm sure, I don't know if you have, but we... What somebody has to experience something one way or another, right? You know, whether it was harsh like that or 
or just just few words you yeah. know what i'm saying so it's her racism is racism throughout the board it doesn't matter you know how it's how presented the is cut. yeah right it's, it's it shouldn't be had but it is i'm sorry it should be it shouldn't be had but it is and uh you know hopefully starting new and it is the first of the month just starting new with a different a different approach different right. view different mindset Right. 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 What are we getting into this weekend? Uh, we're going to be chilling with our girl. we chilling with our girl this weekend. Yeah, yes. We're going to go check our girl. Yeah, yes. We're going to go check out our girl, everybody. If you guys don't know, now you know. Yep. She was on our previous episode. If you well, didn't. Not the previous. Well, couple, not pre- a couple, a couple episodes. episodes but if you don't know, her name is Miss Erica We'll Star. get into some work this weekend with Miss yes. Erica Star. Um, I can't wait. Yeah. It's always fun. It's always fun, like. yeah. We got a big announcement for y'all. That I'm not gonna say yet. Yeah, because I had to keep it on the hush hush. Um, anything else we get into this weekend? No, simple. A couple of packages coming. You waiting? Yeah. They'll be here this weekend. The stuff? For, uh, yeah. Okay. If, yeah. About two packages. Oh. It's cold, so. Oh. We only going from oh. A to B and B to A back. A, but yeah. We ain't making too much room. And why should we? Hello, to- okay, guys, Oops. it's time for the big announcement. <laughs> um, we haven't been doing much these last couple of weekends, ladies and gentlemen, because we are going to the Dominican Republic. No, I'm just playing. We'll be in DR, people. We will be doing a show in DR, Dominican Republic, um, the week of Valentine's Day weekend. Yes, so it's um, a double pleasure. We're going to get a lot of work done out there, so you guys look out for that. Uh, we're going to share our experience with y'all, take y'all through our fun times, yeah. um, experience. This is our first time going, both of us. Yes. Um, take first you through our, our our nights and all the fun times all we have. All our adventures. Yep. Um, give you guys a bit of the scenery and everything out there. And our new um, toys. Yes. And our new toys we get to play <laughs> with. But um, we will be going to Dominican Republic. We'll be out there for about a week. week. And... Um, We'll be coming to you guys live as usual, regular time, regular place, Fridays. Yeah. Nothing changes. Nothing changes. Just the scenery. That's it. We're not going to go out there and work too much, so we're going to work, and then we're going to have fun. Mm-hmm. we we'll give y'all what we Yep. We're going to have fun. Mm-hmm. I'm having fun. You care. I, I see a little sun. I'm having fun. You feel me? I'm trying to get I think a I'm going to rap on this I show. need a tan. That's what I'm trying to do. Get That's me it. a tan. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Yes. Don't no, hate. We'll be in DR. So um, you guys look out for that. Yeah. A couple of weeks from now, um, we appreciate you guys taking this journey with us. As always, always, always let always, you guys always on top of the list. know that you can reach out to us on both underscore size mm-hmm. DJRS on um, Instagram, both size DJRS on Gmail dot com. Um, we're on YouTube, yeah, iTunes, guys. Spotify. Check us out on YouTube. Um, yeah, we're trying to get them YouTube numbers up, y'all. Subscribe. subscribe for real. <laughs> we like the like what you said. We like the views, but we like the subscriptions or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So you guys check us out there. Continue to check us out iTunes, whatever you prefer, really. Um, but check us out. Yeah, some people prefer visual over audio, vice versa. Yeah. So we will be right. bringing um couples therapy back next yes. week. Um, again, thanks to Thirty First Dre and Paulito for stopping by. That's right. Showing off all the hot stuff. The video dropped this week. You guys trap um trap house jumping. Guys check that out on YouTube as well. Check type they had in a 30. couple projects, yeah. yeah they they do a real... couple of things. They got, you know, the another video they mentioned that's coming out later in the month. Um type in 31st gang, yeah, it will come up. Um 31st Dre, um 30 first, 31st Loso, I think that's um yeah, Elito's I think that's, Instagram. That's uh, but you guys check them out, check out their work, check out their journey. Thanks again for them stopping by. We're going to take them out on a high note. This is both sides. <laughs> We're teaching, honey. You guys have a great week and stay blessed. All the time. Hey, you guys. We would like to give thanks to the various artists who contribute to all our episodes. <laughs> That's it?
Okay, that's it. <laughs>